Hello, my name is Adrian Richards, I'm a plastic and cosmetic surgeon and this is one of the series of videos we're uh, producing on minor surgical uh, techniques really to uh, help you improve uh, your uh, results following surgery. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the sutures that I tend to use but I'd like to keep it really very, very simple with uh, sutures um, and uh, as we know sutures can either be absorbable or non-absorbable. So, the uh, non-absorbable sutures are, are used for minor surgical procedures. It, the only one I really use is proline. Um, so the advantage of proline, in my opinion, is that it slips very easily. So it's generally blue. It can come in two, um, either uh, uh, clear or blue. I like the blue one because it's easier to see to remove. It slips easier through the skin and uh, I think it's a preferable suture to use. You can use uh, etalon, which is black, and that's nylon, um, but uh, it doesn't slip quite as easily through the skin, um, so I don't use that. Um, and there are other alternatives such as Nova, Nova Fill, but I think good old fashioned proline is uh, a good, uh, it is the best non absorbable suture for me. And I tend to use, uh, the, the biggest I would ever use is a 4 0, uh, 5 0, uh, and 6 0. So I tend to use uh, those, mostly 5.0 and 6.0. Uh, 6.0 normally on the face, um, you know, in really sort of cosmetically important uh, areas. So they're my preferred uh, non-absorbable sutures. Now, when we get to absorbable sutures, there is differences basically whether they're braided or whether they're non-braided. So I tend to use a non-braided suture because it's much uh, less likely um, to uh, have um, infection. So braided um, sutures such as Vicryl um, can um, fray, uh, can spit out of the skin and um, can uh, have a higher risk of infection. So I don't tend to use uh, Vicryl in the deep tissue. So my preferred deep tissue stitch is Monocryl um, and I would use normally 3-0, 4-0, 5-0 and 6-0. Uh, but I don't really use, I wouldn't use uh, certainly 3O um, on a cutaneous uh, sort of, uh, a minor operation, uh, a superficial area. So I might use 3O on tummy tucks deeply, but not uh, near the skin. So, my, so for you, what I think you need to add to your armamentarium is uh, 4O, 5O and 6O monocryl. And these are principally used for the deep tension relieving dermal stitches that I've shown you in uh, other videos. So I think they're very good. I tend to use 5 -0 would be my normal, 6 -0 for very fine areas such as the face for small lesions and 4 -0 perhaps for bigger lesions on the uh, torso. Now I do use a variety of Vicryl sometimes and I, this is called Vicryl Rapid. Now the difference between Vicryl Rapid and normal Vicryl is that Rapid absorbs quicker than the normal uh, uh, Vicryl. And I use this really just on the skin superficially and uh, I might use it for instance on a child um, who might be difficult to remove the stitches. So you could use a proline but you've got to remove it. So I might use either a 6O or even sometimes a 7O Vicryl Rapid suture. Okay, and the advantage of this is it will just wash out um, you know, with showering and it doesn't need to be formally removed. Okay. So I think it's worthwhile you getting uh, a supply of probably 5-0, 6-0 and 7-0 Viper Rapid. Now 7-0 Viper Rapid is really very, very fine and has very low breaking at strength and I only really use that on sort of very thin skin areas like the eyelids. Okay. So for you really I would say 6-0 you know, Viper Rapid is going to be um, uh, the main stitch you might use. And the good thing about it is it's quite weak, so you should never have a tension on your cutaneous stitches. So if you're doing cross stitches, they're not to take the tension. The tension's been taken by the low, you know, deep dermal stitches. Yeah. So the good thing about Vibrapine, it's very weak, so it won't take tension, so you can't put tension on it, which is the idea because you don't want to have tension across it anyway. So in summary, um, the stitches you need, I think you need three types. Monochrome, uh, which is your mainstay for the deep dermal stitches, which tend, the monochrome tends to use its, lose its strength by about six weeks and is absorbed by uh, 
um, uh, 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 three months. Okay, proline, which is good, as I said, for the face mainly, uh, which needs to be removed. Vicro Rapid, which is a very sort of fine stitch, which will absorbs much quicker than the normal uh, of Vicro and doesn't need to be formally removed. In addition, uh, I do sometimes use a PDS suture, and this is called a poly. This is a polydioxone. Uh, suture. It's like monocryl in that it is monofilament and not braided. Okay, now I wouldn't use that deeply because basically it takes longer to absorb than monocryl, so it's going to hang around for further. Don't do knots, buried knots with PDS because they really do tend to spit out and cause a problem. So if I'm doing a subcuticular closure after my deep dermal stitches with monocryl, I might use. Uh, PDS and leave the ends out as I'll show you in the videos um, with, and the ends just need trimming. The reason for using PDS rather than monocryl in the, in the skin in the subcuticular stitch it's less reactive, less likely to cause a, 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 a tissue reaction in the skin and hypertrophic scarring and it lasts longer giving longer um, tensile strength to the uh, wound. So I hope that's been useful and informative. Please feel free to contact us if you'd like any more information on sutures. Thank you.